Imagine a galaxy so extreme, so insanely productive, that it creates 180 times more stars than the Milky Way. Now imagine it existed just 800 million years after the Big Bang, when the universe was still a cosmic newborn. Meet Galaxy Y1, the universe's earliest superheated star factory. Astronomers detected Y1 using the ALMA telescope in Chile, looking not at stars, but at glowing cosmic dust. This galaxy's light has been traveling toward us for 13 billion years, carrying a secret. Its dust is hotter than anything observed in similar early galaxies. Oh, uh, about minus 356 degrees. Fahrenheit, 180 grados, bajo cero. Sure, that sounds cold, but for cosmic dust in the early universe, that's blazing. And that heat is the clue that why one is creating stars at an extreme, almost violent rate. Researchers believe galaxies like Y1 might have been common in the early cosmos, hidden from view because their dust shines so brightly it tricks telescopes into thinking there is more dust than there actually is. This could finally solve a big mystery. Why do the earliest galaxies appear to contain too much dust for their age? Y1 shows that even small amounts of dust, if superheated, can glow as brightly as massive clouds of cooler dust, and that changes everything. It suggests that early galaxies weren't slow, but gentle builders like the Milky Way. They were intense starburst engines, rapidly shaping the first heavy elements, the first cosmic structures, maybe even paving the way for early life-friendly environments far earlier than we thought. Galaxy Y1 might be the first of its kind we've found, but scientists now think there could be many more waiting to be discovered. The early universe was a furnace.